I almost just stepped on this, which is the most dangerous snake in Costa Rica. But it has that title not because it's the most venomous or that it hunts people. It's infamous, but it's also a bit misunderstood, and I want to try to explain why. If you've seen my videos before, you know I'm based in Costa Rica, and once again, I'm in the Osa Peninsula, one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. I was on some trails about an hour's walk away from the Osa Conservation Biological Station. I didn't have any cell signal here, so I was being pretty careful. I was wearing my boots, and I was looking very closely where I was stepping. But still, at the last second, right before I put my foot down, I saw this in front of me. See, here's the trail, here's the trail. Can you see it? Now tell me, how fast did you find that snake? And could you find it if you were walking quickly on a trail? And right there in the middle, blended in nicely, is a terciopelo, also known as the fair to lance, which accounts for 46% of all snake bites in Costa Rica. But why? For one, it actually has a lot to do with this, this kind of camouflage. During the day, Ferdinandes lay extremely still in the leaves, waiting to ambush their prey. I'm right next to it, and it's perfectly still. It uh, hasn't moved at all because I'm here. They eat almost anything they can fit in their mouths. Insects, rodents, birds, frogs. And for sure, their venom can pack a serious punch, but it's not the most potent in the country. Here's another terciopella I almost stepped on. In fact, I walked over this one, and the person behind me saw it. Again, the snake didn't move at all. And that kind of thing has happened to me more than once in Costa Rica. Another reason why they're so dangerous is that they have a bad habit of hanging out where people are, on trails or farms, even sometimes in the house. So that, combined with excellent camouflage, means that humans accidentally bump into these snakes all the time, which leads to the bites. Thankfully, due to the miracle of anti-venom, fatality from these snakes is now close to 0% in Costa Rica. I started carefully filming this one, and you can see that it's not aggressive at all. It's not moving towards me or anything like that. In fact, they only really attack if they're cornered or seriously disturbed. It's their last line of defense. Eventually, the snake did decide to move away. So now he's moving off the trail, which is good for me. Make sure. There he goes. Good. Beauty. As you can see, even though those snakes are responsible for the most bites in Costa Rica, that snake still didn't want anything to do with me. Uh, not aggressive at all, thought of me as a predator and tried to get away. And really they only bite as a last case scenario if you step right next to them, if you mess with them. I hope this video helps you see that snakes shouldn't be feared, but it's good to understand them. And snakes are really important for rainforests. They eat all kinds of prey and help balance the ecosystem. I also want this video to be a reminder that it's good to take precautions, to wear boots, understand where snakes should be, and watch your step. In the end, this is just another beautiful animal in this incredible rainforest. I hope you learned something new today, and we'll see you for the next one.